Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna just be a quick video just to catch up on everything that I've missed out on this last week. Like I've I've got ready at least three times, put my makeup on, put lashes on, and then not ended up filming. So I apologize. My upload schedule is absolutely erratic, but I am gonna really, really work on that in the next coming weeks to really try and be consistent and have a set day where you guys can expect to see my face. So if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. I upload videos frequently. Today, I really want to talk to you guys about Chrissy Teigen. Now, she was trending number one on Twitter the other day because of some of the tweets that she had deleted and previously posted in the past. And Chrissy Teigen allegedly, not alleged, not even allegedly, Chrissy Teigen actually admitted to deleting over 60,000 tweets from her Twitter account after she had been accused of having links to Jeffrey Epstein and child trafficking in general. I wasn't really gonna say anything about this until I saw the tweets and I was like, hmm, that's actually quite weird. Like, I'm not saying that she's guilty. Obviously this is all just, you know, these are all just allegations that have been put to her. But if you are familiar with the Pizzagate scandal and everything that is going on with that, the language that she uses in a lot of her tweets is definitely very, very suspicious. She said, seeing little girls do the splits half naked is just, I want to put myself in jail. Hashtag toddlers and tiaras. I'm bored, really want to watch kids give birth. Where can I watch teens giving birth? MTV? I mean, doesn't make sense, but I'll try. Saw a baby that looked like a star. Like a trashy do anything star. Is this wrong to think? Water slide that goes through a shark tank. F yeah, time to get my pedo on. Hashtag solo rider. I woke up this morning with a pizza on my chest and ranch dressing all over me. So if you think I'm too good for this, you are sadly mistaken. It's actually so ridiculous that most of the plane just laughs hysterically when someone comes on with pizza. Accidentally went to the children's aquarium, looking pretty pedo bearish, cruising the parking lot. And this is only some of the weird tweets that I found. Some of them I can't even put on here. But aside from all that, she did come back and she did make a statement saying that, you know, she, she's very sarcastic, which I've noticed from the research I've done. She's very frequently in online beefs with various different celebrities. She really doesn't hold back. She says exactly what she means. She is quite, um, what's the word? She's got a bit, you know, she, she swears, like she's not, she's not shy. Like she will say whatever she thinks. So she has been replying to some people that have been accusing her of these things. And she's been quite sarky, you know, saying like, oh, I don't know, do I eat babies? Do I do this? Like she's not, you know, she's, she's not really um, taking the whole situation very seriously. But saying that, even though she doesn't appear to be taking it very seriously and she has said that, you know, it's ridiculous and that she said that she does fear for her family's safety because of the allegations. It still seems that even though she doesn't feel like she has anything to be upset or worried about because she's, you know, from the statements that she's made, she still did delete 60,000 tweets, which is which is a lot of tweets. Like, you can't really do that by yourself. Like, she must have had help from Twitter to get through all of these tweets. Like, there's no way she just sat down one night and deleted 60,000 tweets. Like, that's, that's too many. So, I really do think that she had help from Twitter to do that, which, which I don't know. I mean, if I posted something that was like a little bit questionable and people accused me of, you know, being involved in something else. I don't know. I don't know if I would necessarily delete the content that had me linked to this because it does kind of indicate guilt. I mean, when you delete evidence as such, it is you know a strong indicator that somebody might potentially have something to hide. So I think it's interesting to see how this story is kind of playing out and what Chrissy Teigen is saying about it. If you don't know who Chrissy Teigen is, she is actually married to John Legend, the musician, and they have been married for quite a few years and have some children together. So it is a little bit of a, it's a definitely an iffy sort of situation. And I would really be quite surprised to know that Chrissy Teigen was involved in these things. People have claimed that she is on the Epstein flight log, 
but that is not an official flight log that was released. The, the flight, there was a few flight logs going around. Some of them have been generated by God knows who, and some of them are actually official flight logs. I did look on the official flight log and I didn't see her name. Maybe I've missed it. If you saw it, let me know in the comment section down below, but I didn't see it. If she was on the flight log, she would have then at that time been underage. So she would have potentially been a victim rather than a perpetrator of any crimes. But that's not to say that she is not now involved in anything sinister in her adult life. So, I mean, given given the situation and everything that we've seen from her Twitter account and from people that have been involved in this, this type of behaviour, it's definitely very, very suspicious. And then there's Naomi Campbell. She's also been implicated in this Epstein scandal. Um, she did put out a video about 10 months ago where she was speaking with an interviewer and she did distance herself from the situation. It was a little bit awkward. I mean, you can watch the interview for yourself. She did actually make a statement afterwards where she said, The frightening conclusion here is that if the negative action of your neighbour, colleague or even an associate can somehow make you guilty too, simply by association, then we indeed live in very worrying times. This affects us all, it's wrong, it's unfair and it must be stopped. After that, Virginia Roberts actually made a tweet and said that Naomi Campbell did actually turn a blind eye to the abuse that she had seen. You saw me at your parties, you saw me in Epstein's homes, you saw me on the plane, you saw me get my hair cut, you saw me on the streets, you watched me be abused, you saw me. So, I mean, if that is true, then Naomi Campbell is, is guilty of, you know, turning a blind eye and potentially, you know, allowing abuse to continue which is quite a horrific kind of thought. I guess we won't really know what's what until Ghislaine Maxwell's trial is over and she does or doesn't, you know, give up any information on these people. But it's very, very, very sad to think that some of these people, celebrities that, you know, young people look up to have potentially been involved in some very, very dark things. But of course, I wanna know what you guys are thinking. Let me know in the comment section down below do you think chrissy teigen has been you know involved in some sort of pizzagate type situations do you think that naomi campbell has been more involved with the jeffrey epstein scandal than she has actually let on what do you guys think is going on let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one bye for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable for the record you ain't tryna grow, then it's done for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. for the for the record.